Hi, Dirty Girl here from VintageDazzle.etsy.com and I'm here to bring you another vintage haul video from the flea market. And I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the jewelry first because I know some people watch just for that and then you can go do something else. Okay, so the first thing I got was this adorable little sterling silver turtle charm and it's a box turtle that actually opens and is a box. Could not resist it and I paid way too much for it. Ugh, I paid um, $8 for that. And from the same dealer who was not really willing to grant me a whole lot of leeway, I got this cufflinks and tie clip that are Indian head pennies and those were seven dollars for all of them. Oops. Okay. Um, then let me show you this. This is a really nice Art Deco enamel pen. This came in a bag of other stuff that I'll show you later. I just I didn't want it rolling around in the bag so it wouldn't chip the enamel. And then I said I wasn't going to go to the dollar table but I went to the two dollar table and I bought a whole bunch of stuff couldn't resist. Oh, one of them is this necklace I'm wearing. It's a copper modernist necklace and um, it's not marked but I would be willing to bet that it's Renoir. So I will have to do some research and see if I can find one that is marked that's identical to it. And then I got this wonderful necklace. It's not marked. I don't know how old it is and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's all uh, it's really got a lot of oxidation on it, so I'm going to have to see if I can rehabilitate it. But I just thought it was so cool looking. For two bucks, well, they can take the risk. This is another Jonette jewelry piece. It's a pewter sewing themed pin. All those little charms dangling down. I thought that was cute. And I got this necklace. It's not marked, but I thought it was kind of neat looking. We got another dangly pin. This one is a travel themed. And that's um, El Raza, which is not a maker I'm familiar with, but I feel like I should be, so I'll look into that. I got these earrings. They look like they're artisan made. They're not signed. Oops, but I just thought they were really cute. I might just keep those to wear or give them as a gift to my sister-in-law who loves that kind of thing. This is a, a really interesting, unique looking, very old rhinestone necklace. This is actually not a rhinestone, it's a glass see-through one. And there's no stones missing. And then the last piece is this bracelet. It's just a mesh. Nothing super special, but I thought it was kind of pretty. Okay, so that is it for the jewelry. And then I visited my, actually I went here first, my favorite vendor. I'm learning, I went straight for his booth first to get, you know, because the stuff disappears really fast. Because his prices are so unbelievable. And I got everything I'm going to show you here for $30, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I'll show you the bonehead purchase of the week first. This is a cute little bulldozer. And it's a Tootsie toy, which are very collectible. And it's Caterpillar brand. And I thought, well, gosh, that's kind of a win-win, Tootsie Toy, Caterpillar. But it turns out this is a bulldozer, and it's missing the, the front piece. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. If it had the front piece, it would be worth a little something. And then I got these painted, hand-painted salt and pepper tin shakers. They are um, deco wear, I think is what they're called. Yeah, deco wear. So I'll have to research that. I got this Q 
kitchen chopper. It is still really sharp. It's um, cast iron and it has some writing on it. It has uh, NRS and Company, Groton, New York. So I'll have to find out about that. I got this bag of miscellaneous stuff that that Art Deco pen came in. The main reason that I picked this bag up, well, a couple of reasons. First, there's this old patch. It looks like an old military patch. I'll have to figure out what that is. Anybody knows? Let me know. It's a sword with three lightning bolts through it, and it's on an arrowhead um, shaped thing. But, oh, where is it? Where is it? There's a button in here that I thought was really cool. Okay, I can't get my hands on it. Nope. There it is. Okay. Um, this is a World War II celluloid pin. It's got the old airplane, the V for Victory. Say it with flyers, which is interesting. I've always wondered if the, um, or I just started wondering if the motto, say it with flowers, was it came from this. I don't know. Oh, there's some other cute things in here, though. There's, <laughs> everyone needs a Mr. Bill pin. And Rolling Stones pin, American Tour 81. I had tickets to um, a concert on this tour, but my husband at the time went into the hospital that day, so I ended up missing the concert. I even had backstage passes. I didn't get to go. I was really mad at him after that. So Marilyn Monroe, Andy Warhol pin. Um, oh, this... I haven't looked this up yet, but this is Dirt Diggers um, Motorcycle Club pin. It looks really old and it could be something. And I don't know what that is. Anybody knows? Let me know. But anyway, a bunch of fun stuff. I got this copper item, copper and brass. It looks really old. I don't even know what it is. It's got. Mm, no, it's not writing. It's got some stamping, and it looks like it's got some uh, writing in a foreign language. Just thought it was cool. Got a couple of vintage postcard booklets. This one is from the World's Fair, 1939 and 40 is what it says. And this is uh, Gibraltar. This is probably from the 1920s. Got this. Um, puzzle. Oops. It's got these numbers. And you just rearrange it in different patterns. It's got the instructions with it. It's called the 15 puzzle. I got this wooden humidor, which I just thought was so pretty. It's two different kinds of wood and a striped pattern. It's got some kind of like music paper inside it. I don't know, it looks old. It's unfortunately got a crack, but I think it's still pretty neat. I got this crystal Aura 4s. In the original box, looks like it's never been used. It's got the sticker on it still. And um, those I did look up. Those sell for good money. Um, what else we got? I got this pillow. Top, I guess it is. It's hand painted, and it's got it says something in French there. It's Le Petit Martin Pelcheur des Andes. I'm not sure what that means, other than the bird part. But you know me and birds. Okay, that is everything I got from that one dealer. All that for thirty dollars. Pretty cool. I got this bell. Oops, for uh, four dollars. I've sold two of those in the last few months, so I got this little salt cellar with a spoon. It's copper, enamel. Um, it is marked. Uh, okay, I can't read it right now. It sounds kind of Russian or something, but anyway. I don't know. It was $2, so I bought it. 
And this was kind of funny. I saw this purse first. It's a, just a gorgeous antique purse. And it was marked $45. And, and I was like, mm, I, you know, that, that seems a little high. And I, I knew what I wanted to pay for it was way too low. And so she was like, well, just make me an offer. And I was like, oh, I don't. She goes, just, just tell me. And I said, well, $25. And she said, oh, I don't think I can do it for that. And I said, that, that's cool, no problem. And I picked this up also. And this was marked $10. And so I, I think it's silver. I haven't tested it yet, but it's really heavy, and I think it's silver. Uh, and I asked her, it's Mark 10, I asked her if she would take seven. And again, she said, no, I don't think I can do that. And I said, okay. And she says, but I'll tell you what, I'll take 30 for the purse and the pin, which was less than I had offered. So I was like, okay. Then I got this. This, I think, is really old. It's got something stamped right there. It's, but it's really worn and I can't read it. This is a um, skin, I forget what you call these. But anyway, I got that for $5. Old tambourines don't sell for very much, but they have to be pretty special. But I think this one might be a little bit special. I got this Irish linen dish towel with terriers on it. It's not ever been used. I think people really like dogs. So, and it's terriers of something. Anyway. And then I got 12 Irish linen napkins for $8. Um, I, I bought a huge lot of Irish linen at a garage sale for $5, but it was I had to wash and wash and wash and treat it for stains and iron it and do all this stuff to it. But it did sell for a lot of money, like a lot of money. So, um, and these, I took all these out and looked at them. They're real clean, no stains, really beautiful. So I'll do well with those. I got some Art Deco style buttons, really big honkers. I like the card with the train on it. I paid $8 for both cards. I got these little copper, copper? I don't know what they are. Oh, they're, um, I think they used to be silver plate maybe? With, over, yeah, I think they were silver plate over copper or something. Anyway, these are for bridge players, little dishes for mints or something. And they're from Japan. They have critters on them. There's a there's a bird, there's some dragons, and um, oh, here's a lion. And it was $2 for the whole set. I got this handmade little box, I think possibly for drill bits. Really nice folk art type thing. I got couple of pocket knives for $2 each. They're not in great shape. I may be able to clean them up some. Um, this one's nice. It has, a, I think it's an imperial knife. Uh, this is another cool tool. It's, um, this slides along here and it's got some, um, well, I don't know if you can, okay, there they are. It's got some measurements along here and um, it's for scoring. Like you measure how, where you want your score and then you tighten this up and then you can run this along the edge of a board and get a straight score on it. That's what the guy who sold it to me told me. And I think I have shown you everything. Yay, that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope this didn't go too long. I have no idea how long I've been blathering, but Anyway, most of these things will be for sale shortly at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. A few may end up on eBay where my seller name is Carol Lennox. I will put both of those links in the description. And I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment, and have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.